Thanksgiving is a few days away and all of America is looking forward. Food, football on the TV, bonding with family members. It's truly a magical time. Unfortunately, not everyone is this blessed. We all have that one dysfunctional family member that comes in and throws a monkey wrench in everything. But there is something I guarantee will fix everything. It's called therapy, but it's too expensive. So let's just go with my cheaper alternative. Desserts are great, but there's just something about autumn themed desserts that bring out the tenderness in everyone. That's why my pumpkin spice mousse will help calm down your Choose your dysfunctional family member. Grumpy Grandpa. So let's begin. We will construct our crust in a stand mix. We will construct our crust in a food processor. So, grab two packs of graham crackers and just kind of crunch them up in here. Pulse until you get a coarse powder. Alright, this is what you want a nice coarse powder like this. Now, let's add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Pulse to combine and drizzle in about three tablespoons of melted butter. Hey, CRJ for the future, you actually need a cup and a half of melted butter. <sighs> I really need to test out these recipes before I actually start filming them. Okay, this is what you want. You want, when you squeeze it, it clumps together and you can easily take it apart. Now, move your graham cracker mixture to a pie tray. This is about 12 inches, so it'll do. So just dump everything onto here. Spread out everything nice and evenly. And tamp everything down with a bottom heavy glass. You see, what we're gonna do is blind bake it. Blind baking means you're gonna put it in the oven and cook it with no filling. About um, eight to 10 minutes to do it. Take it out of the oven, let it cool down. And now it's on to the filling, which might sound familiar. Spoiler alert, it's my chocolate mousse recipe video. I just modified it a bit. Now instead we're gonna use white chocolate, but my, the name of my recipe is called pumpkin spice mousse. That implies something orange, not white. So head down to an arts and craft or specialty baking store and buy a pack of these. Orange chocolate melts. You're gonna need about one bag. Just like before, in a large pot, boil an inch of water. Once it reaches a boil, Reduce the heat down to a simmer, slap on a large metal bowl, and add our chocolates. Stir these things around until they're fully melted. This is very much on the thick side, so let's just add a couple of teaspoons of vegetable oil to thin it out. Once it's fully melted, add half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I think about make that a teaspoon. Now then, like before, in a medium-sized bowl, pour in a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. Mix until stiff peaks form. Let's see if they're stiff. All right. Now divide the cream into thirds. Take one third of the cream, plop it into our chocolate spice mix, and whisk it in there. And fold in the rest of our cream. Again, this is how you do it. 
fold down the middle, turn 90 degrees, fold over, turn, fold over, turn, fold over, and so forth. Okay, once we got that bolt mostly folded in, dollop it into our pie tray. Stash it away in the fridge. And leave it in there for about an hour. Now we're gonna to top off our pie with sweet whipped cream. So, one cup of heavy whipping cream, half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of white sugar. Mix until stiff peaks form. Put this on our pie, top it off and smooth it off. And let's top it off with a little dusting of cinnamon. It's Thanksgiving day and my grumpy grandpa's here. Time for my dessert to work its magic. Dear Jay, your generation has become so entitled and lazy. I heard you have a thing called Uber. Back in my day, we had to walk 12 miles to the general store in heavy snow just to get supplies for the week. And now you have pizza delivery. I swear, I swear, what has become of your generation? I'm sorry, Grandpa, you were saying something? Oh, nothing. Just pay me a visit at the retirement home every once in a while. See? Autumn themed desserts bring out the tenderness in anyone. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning at this time. <laughs> <laughs>